I was very careful in the beginning of my career not to let anyone know I had children. Um, I had a, a special signal when my business line rang so that my children would be quiet. It's tempting to do the generation gap and say, oh, they don't know anything. What's hard is to be as young as they are. Because most of the people in power, uh, you know, are much younger than they used to be. Most of them really don't know their movies. The fact that they have a limited sense of history or that they're, you know, 21 years old, I don't think need be a terrible thing. If I throw out, well, I want, is this going to be something like uh, uh, Dustin Hoffman's character in Straight Time? And they say, what? I've even had guys tell me, all right, you're turning in the script on the weekend. Uh, you won't hear from me this weekend until I hear what everybody thinks. So in other words, it's that old line of, I don't have an opinion until someone gives me one. The first job I ever had um, was for an hour um, episodic. And I wrote the whole thing. And the gentleman that was the producer on that project, after he had read it, said in this meeting, oh, well, you'll make a very good mother someday because the dialogue between the mother and the children is really great. The rest of the stuff needs some work. I think it's my job to be as young as they are and then instructively educate them back towards the 70s where I like the movies. And this sort of this alarm went off in my head and I thought, gee, if a guy had written good dialogue between a father and a son, I think they would have seen that as a plus and they wouldn't have questioned some of the other stuff. But they're afraid to say what they truly feel because they'll be held responsible. And they've been fired for those reasons, so I can see why they're afraid. But also this may all be, you know, socially inputted prejudice of my own that's developed over the years of hearing that, um, that that prejudice exists. But I was careful after that. I'm not anymore because I don't have to be anymore. The wood is afraid of you, not your hand. Your hand shouldn't be afraid of the board. The board should be afraid of you. I will guide them with my superior length of time, wisdom acquired, but I will not at any point admit to having, you know, any kind of advanced age. That's the thing that you have to get past in Hollywood. As the person with the ideas, you are the one that's moving everything. It's not them. If you love 70s movies, you still do and you make it well known, but you have to stay as young as the youngest executive. An executive puts a roadblock up, you'll just write another one. You can always write another story, but what are they gonna do? Or at least date the youngest executive. And they get fired every day, and their job security is so bad that they're always afraid, 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 afraid. Even if you weren't buying my work, I'd be sitting down writing six hours every day. I've done it since I was eight years old. You not buying it won't stop me. We have no fear, we just write and we hand it in, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, we write another one. That's job security is your brain, is your creativity, and they don't have that.